Them heads on them two Obama girls is big like like the snakes, man. Hello, Carl, what's your name? Where you come from? I'm JV and I'm from California. <laughs> oh, oh, this the same brother they call earlier? Uh, nah, I'm actually related to him. He's this from this different person. Oh, okay, brother, go ahead. You had a comment or, 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 or a question? A comment on, or a question about the Mark of the Beast thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, you said it was a mindset, right? Take it. I'm just wondering how much money do they have to pay you to tell that lie? <laughs> How much money they got? How much money do I need to pay you to prove it? How much money do I? How much money do I gotta pay you to prove it? How much, well, how much money can you pay me to for you to prove it? I just finished proving it in the scriptures. Now I want to see you prove it. I mean, I can prove it in the scriptures, but you still have to prove it. Uh, 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 I'm. Uh, I'm uh, the Bible didn't say without that chip temple. Listen, listen. Uh, yeah, of course, you're right. Of course, it was your fault. Exactly. Now, 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 think for one minute. Think for one. Think for one minute. Okay. Just. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You, you, because you don't understand what it means, brother, when it says you will not be able to buy or sell. It did not say you will not eat. It say you will not be able to buy or sell. You will not be now. Now, now listen. Slow it down. Listen. 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 Okay. Cash and a check does not mean you buy and sell. Okay? A consumer does not buy, a nigga don't buy and sell me and nothing. A nigga will get a paycheck for labor and go get food to eat. Buying and selling is commerce, brother. That's what buying and selling is. Now think big. Think nationally buy and sell. Do you need a chip to buy and sell nationally? When America, when, when America wants somebody, when America wants somebody to stop selling their goods, what do they put in place? What do they put in place? An embargo. Do they not? Now, when they put that embargo in place, they stop you. They stop your commerce from buying and selling. That embargo, that embargo they put on you is based on what you standing on philosophically. That's what they put it on. If they feel you if they feel you trying to build nuclear weapons or you a so called terrorist country like Iran, they go to the UN and put an embargo on you. That embargo stops you from buying and selling as a nation. Negroes done already been cut off from buying and selling because they took everything Negroes got. So you ain't, you ain't doing no commerce with no nations, no way. Where, where's the international steel company of the Negro? Where's the international textile company of the Negro? Where's the international automotive industry of the Negro? Where's the international toothpick factory of the Negro? It don't exist. You ain't buying and selling. You ain't doing no commerce. Getting a damn chip to go get a welfare check ain't buying and selling. But a Negro thinks so damn small that he thinks that that means it's talking about his his little uh, computer chip for him to get his damn paycheck. You ain't buying and selling anything. You ain't doing nothing but consuming. You getting a paycheck from the white man and cashing it in to go get food from the white man of which you eat to go back to work for the white man. You ain't buying and selling anything. Your nation ain't gaining no commerce from nothing. So you don't understand that scripture, brother. And before you make a nasty statement to a scholar, you should have your facts together, smart ass. You understand? Before you make it, you should have questioned me on it before you got smart. Okay? Because you didn't even understand what buying and selling was. For you to even try to question what I'm saying about it. You small. Let me and let me tell you, sir, let me help you out. You small in the Bible. You don't even understand the Bible, brother. You can try to laugh it off, but you know I'm dead right in what I'm saying. 
You know good and well I'm dead right in what I'm saying. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for your scripture. I'm waiting for your scripture. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm, First of all, it wasn't written in Hebrew when it was written. You, there, you, there you go. No, there you go again, brother. The book of Revelation was written in Greek because the Greco-Roman Empire was the Greco-Roman Empire was ruling Jerusalem at that time under King Herod. The language of the day was Hellenist Greek. That's what they was writing. When you dig up the records of which I've seen with my own eyes, okay, in the Solomon Museum in Jerusalem, it's written on parchment paper in Greek, not okay. in Hebrew. Okay. No, listen, you didn't even know it was written in Greek. Nigga, don't ask me what the Greek word was. Listen, you don't, listen, you didn't even know it was written. Listen, now that's two, listen, that's two strikes against your simple ass already. You didn't even know, you didn't even know it was written in Greek. Yeah, no, listen, we're going to talk about what you don't know because you got smart and you didn't know what you was talking about. You opened your mouth with your smart ass and didn't know what you was talking about. Now, I had to correct your simple behind twice already. Now, I'm going to give you a third strike and then I'm going to get your dumb ass off the phone. Now, now I'm, I'm, li now, I'm listening. Go ahead, fool. So what the Greek word is, is shiragma, the Greek word there, and it means to catch or to cut in, a stamp. So, so, so what does that mean, a graven mark? There you go again, simple. Simple as you could be. In the English language that comes from the Latin, which the Greek comes from. Oh, man, you a goddamn devil. Oh, now, now I'm a devil now. Now I'm a devil now. I wait a minute. I was, he know this is third strike. He know this was his third strike. You know you was in your third strike, so you ran like a... So the boy, and talk about, I was going to get you off. I, you know I was going to hang up on you. When you ran like a bitch. <laughs> this you again, are you back? My fault. I didn't need to do that. I'm back. Okay. Oh, I thought I thought you was ready. Well, you got nervous and hung up the phone. What'd you get? What'd you get nervous? What'd you get nervous? Hang up. What'd you get nervous and hang up the phone? What'd you, you, what'd you, you, what'd you get? What'd you get nervous? You got nervous. You got nervous and hung up the phone. You knew the third strike was coming. You knew the third strike was coming. Huh? Now listen, stupid. Okay, because you now you're stupid. You went from simple. You now you went from simple to stupid. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, shut up so you can learn something, stupid. I heard you. The la I heard you the last ten. T I heard you the last ten times, stupid. You, I told you you're stupid. You didn't want to listen when I told you you were stupid. You should have accepted that you were stupid. You're too stupid to talk to me. So that's why I put you on hold. Now sit your stupid ass still, and I'll explain what your stupid ass didn't know. Okay? The re First of all, we're talking about an ancient language of Greeks. The reason why the word is that word is used is because they say you would not be able to cut into commerce, dumbass. Just like an embargo, you can't cut in to the embargo. You can't carve out a piece of buying and selling. The Greeks used the term so you could understand like, just the exact same thing. When they say you can't buy and sell, what does that mean? That means that this nation or this people that don't take on the market, don't get down with America, that they are not going to be able to cut out a piece of the economy, you dumbass. That's what it means, you imbecile, you novice, you greenhorn. Try to come up against me and get smart. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who the UPK is? Yo, weak ass. Come with old weak ass question. And they gonna pull the Greek up like we don't study no Greek. They don't understand what that means because they say cut into your dumb ass. Three strikes, all three wrong. You're out. <laughs> you dumbass. I don't even know I wasted my time on that phone call with that fool. We all over the damn time now. I can't get to my Johannesburg story. That would have been more interesting than you. Simple and stupid as you could be. 
That's why I say cut in, cause you can't, you can't cut into the commerce, you fool. That's why I say that. We ain't taking your call no more. You can't come and cut into the commerce. That's what it's talking about. You understand? It's saying you will not be able to get into the economy, which is what the white man do. You understand? Do you see any other countries putting embargoes on anybody? Ain't nobody putting embargoes but America. They go to the UN, get the security approval, and put an embargo on somebody. Cut them off from buying and selling. They gonna cut you Negroes off if you don't take up Christianity. Meaning this, they gonna cut your jobs off. You sitting up there worrying about getting the damn credit card when they gonna cut your jobs off. They gonna blacklist you from housing black people. They gonna demonize you like they demonized the Israelites during the time of Christ. They was under the curse of buying and selling. That's why they was in such poverty till the Lord gave Peter the power. Because they was under the gun of the Sadducees and Pharisees, under persecution. That's why I tell you there was none left in Jerusalem but the twelve. But they were scattered abroad because of persecution, man. Dumbass nigga. Don't call me with no dumb question. You gonna battle be intelligent, nigga. Oh greenhorn. Sitting up there. Problem is, you sit up in your woman face. Read her scripture. She's smiling in your face. You think you can't touch with your dumb ass. You can pull a scripture on us like you know something. That's what it's talking about. Are you sitting up there worrying about getting a goddamn uh, well, a welfare card while the white man robbed the goddamn earth? When he decide what nation live and what nation die. Well, he decide what nation eat and don't eat. You want to know who's up against the mark of the beast? Haiti is. Why? The white man tell him what he could sell and can't sell. You want to know what the mark of the beast is? The International Monetary Fund that control all the tropical fruit coming out of the Caribbean that tell them where they can sell it at and where they can't sell it at. That's the mark of the beast. That's right. Not no goddamn welfare card, you dumb nigga. Oh, nobody from California call me for the rest of the night. You call, you call from California, tell me you from another lie. Okay, I give you permission. I don't want no dumb niggas calling from California no more. Niggas sit up in a room with two or three of them dumb asses and think they know something. But you dare get smart with me on this phone and you don't know what you talk about? You don't even know it's written in Greek? You don't even know what buying and selling is? Let me stop, man. I'll be on this nigga all night. Let me get off this, man. Yes, them of the art of a pagan. The children of the art of a lion, I know. Evil and move with Satan. Righteous trod in the countenance of the Almighty One. Them of the art of demons. The children of the art of a lion, I know. Evil and move with Satan. Righteous walk in the countenance of the Almighty One so, Poor so. people see hostility rising daily Ignorant multiply brutality We so. I see that the run gone left mommy so, so. Fist struggle the hard road with five beginning so. Oh I see baby having baby so, so. Nothing that happen no do